Evening all, welcome to, well, what to call this, Dungeons of the Endless. Right, this this is one of these kind of games that you buy for like a fiver on Steam, and um, it's like a rogue alike. And we're going to look at it today, so this is really the purpose. Now, the way to think of this game is it is a procedurally generated, um, I guess, casual indie kind of game where you have um, a crash ship, obviously from that prison ship as you just saw. And what you have to do is you have a power crystal that you use to power defenses and industry and such throughout the base of this this kind of weird place you've you've crashed into so you've basically gone like you've, you've starship troopered into a hill and you're now way under it and you've turned up in a dungeon and the dungeon as i say is all procedurally generated so that's quite nice and you start off with two heroes and it's all about managing resources a little bit kind of desktop tower defense like but don't switch off yet it's not really like that um it's a good way to think of it because it's about managing and maintaining and building a, uh, a foothold if you like from the map now you don't obviously stay with the ship what you have to do is find the exit and then take your power crystal unplugging all your defenses and getting it to the exit uh, in one piece it's a hell of a game very tough and in fact throughout this whole video we fail it's just a whole episode of fail so just be I guess prepared for that um, but I wanted to bring it because I think there's some really again there's kind of it's always nice to have a bit of a respite from some of the kind of more I guess mainstream games if you like um, and I wanted to show you this because it's something that I think is um, well worthy of looking at because it has a really kind of nice feel to it it just is a simple um, you know game that has the the wonderful kind of randomness of it uh, built within now roguelikes uh, but called that I'm sure as you all know because of the rogue games which are all procedurally generated rooms text adventure stuff um, that kind of took you through a different um, battle every time and this kind of has the same impetus because really it's a, it's all procedurally generated randomized stuff so you never know what you, each room is going to give you now it really is about proceeding through the map by getting uh, through various rooms and every time you open a room you get more dust which is again the equivalent of currency and then you have food and you have industry to build things so food allows you to have more um, heroes and the industry side allows you to build more turrets etc so that's the premise now the reason i'm bringing it i guess to you is that it's i like it it's actually quite a nice um game it's also incredibly tough and i'm always quite keen to show you games that are very hard um, because it's very easy just to sort of show you, you know, simple stuff like Minecraft, etc. That really there's no challenge to it. Whereas I think I, I think I know you all well enough now to think that you like a challenge. Um, and as you can see, I just completely got owned. <laughs> so that's game over. Basically, when you lose your heroes, your crystal is exposed. Therefore, you're dead. Um, and that's it. And that's the premise of the game so you keep you know got to keep starting again eventually you get the hang of it and what you start to do is, is descend through the dungeon up or down and um, you start to obviously you know move towards the exit carrying your crystal your power generator with you in every level so there's a nice mechanic to it certainly i'm quite quite chuffed with that i think it's a nice thing um but you have to really figure out how to kind of have defenses etc and run also a bit of an economy as well plus random waves also start to come as well so if you're familiar with dota or league of legends league of legends league of legends there's not a million miles away um as a game itself so you know i personally think it's definitely worth um, a look um, it is developing it's only an alpha at the moment so it may continue to change quite a bit but already you know I consider it more of a puzzle game um, but as you see every room you open will have random encounters so in this case we just got a, a blueprint so that allows me to build more things and as you go through you collect more blueprints you start to be able to build more etc etc so you know you do eventually get quite um, good <laughs> at the game um, it's not the easiest thing by a long way but as you saw I just opened a room there and it gave me five dust which is a little circular golden discs I think it's called dust I could be completely tripping out on that but I remember it being called dust and therefore making a mental note but that's the currency of the game so you can't just literally build 20 turrets straight off you have to actually go and explore and get the ability to do that um, you also pick up new modules as well so you get better turrets you get obviously the healing capabilities etc and your heroes are very very different so you can even find weapons for your heroes your heroes can have guns swords whatever it may be as well um, but as you see uh, everything extends from that crashed 
power core and that power core is life literally all of your defenses are based upon having that power core um, charged up so you know very lovely lovely bit of game design right there um, but I would say my god it's difficult <laughs> I know I keep saying it but seriously they made this game hard um, and I'm sure some of you are playing this already and you're laughing at me now saying no it's easy bro it's easy it's easy um, in which case tell me your secrets because <laughs> it did seem very difficult in all of my like my probably months of playing it I've only ever gone down two levels and it was just like the most momentous thing but look I got like stomped by a half a you know gazillion enemies coming at me so I've lost another hero. Great, that's a great start. Um, and you can see my other hero's in trouble. This is not looking good, and I'm dead. <laughs> so very much like Rogue and NetHack and, and Yulan, if you remember any of those games, it's about as um, as forgiving as calling your you know your wife's sister's name out during Quetus. It's just not good at all. So as we start again, opening another door. Oh, okay, good start. We've got a blueprint straight off. Now, it's not, again, you're probably looking at it thinking, oh, you just start every five seconds, you start a new match. No, 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 that's because I'm terrible at this game. Um, once you get good at it, you actually start to build huge networks of power and defenses and, and economy. So you actually start to have food um, producers. So you can actually feed your people. Look at that, we just found like a load of industry, apparently cogs and gears working, but you see how it works. It's all about having an economy of some kind built. Um, and you have to then you know, wire your power core through the base as well. So it's a really nice, I mean, again, I, the reason, I don't just bring you any old claptrap I find on Steam. It takes, it has to have a certain level of Pyrex quality for it to be <laughs> shown to you. But I think this one was, um, I remember reading about this in PC Gamer and thinking, sounds crap. And it was actually linked to the, the games company that creates this game are also making another big game, the name of which escapes me. Like, I think it's like Eternal Universe or something like that. I don't know. It's not that, but it's something like that. And this game is actually using the law of this wider MMO. So hence why I quite like that, because it's also I like it when, you know, games companies craft and spin together a nice uh, narrative as well. And I think they've certainly done that on this because there is a there's a reason <laughs> there's a reason why these dungeons are here and it's because this is an ancient long lost civilization it was overwhelmed blah 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 and that's it that's kind of nice so obviously you've crashed on this planet and you're trying to fight to survive um to escape it so that's the subtext um it's a grower as in <laughs> if you play this game it will grow upon you um, it takes a while to do, but one, and again, you've got to figure out how to play the game as well, because these are all powered down rooms at the moment. So you can see like, I can't, I can't work out how to power that room, um, which isn't good. So you just generally find yourself kind of ca carrying on forward, um, unlocking rooms, etc., which isn't necessarily a bad thing to do, but you've got to be very careful of it because some of the creeps that you get, the, the, you know, the creeps, um, are pretty tough and they will kill you if you're not careful. Plus, the most precious resource you have is your people. So if you lose your people, you can't defend your power core anymore and game over pretty much. If Also, you, as you extend further away from your power core, um, waves of creeps can actually spawn behind you and then bypass you and go to the power core direct. As you see there, you see that? That's warning me that about any moment now, a group of people or things are about to spawn. So therefore, I have to make sure my defenses are done. So it's good, isn't it? I, get, I can see your mind wearing away way it's like yeah it's not bad it's quite clever that exactly that this is why i think i've i've looked at this game for a while and i've always been quite skeptical of it but i had a casual game of it and i reminded myself yeah this is actually quite a clever you know well put together game so we go as we extend into the larger room here that's really good so i can actually demolish some of these um turrets and we can just put all our defenses in one spot which again you know the defense piece is quite important you have to really figure out how to do that that's not the easiest thing to do by a long shot so just be aware of how that works um, but again I would say probably um, you know a really strategic tactical kind of uh, base building style of game I mean again it's not really but I think again I quite um, <laughs> I was quite celebrating of its of its uniqueness and again I've not really played a game like this before 
um, because it mixes so many different genres. It's kind of like Dota. It's kind of like desktop defense. It's kind of like tower defense. It's kind of like an RPG. It's kind of like blah, blah, blah. So, you know, that's, that usually is either a really bad game that's just not what, very good of anything, or it's usually a good game because it's taken the, the key bits from each and, and, and made and spun together quite um, a good game. So there we go. Oh, look, we have another warrior for us. So this is somebody that if we had the, the food, we could recruit and he would then fight for us as well. So in the end, you can have like many, many characters indeed who would then defend and, and they all grow and develop like an RPG as well. So your fighters, as they get better at fighting, become more, more proficient at it. Um, and also, I think just generally, they can pick up better weapons and so on. So, um, as you see, look at that, getting better, lots of killing, that's good. Um, I think it's a bit more of a kind of casual game um, than most, because what you'll probably find is you'll, you'll, you'll not run it through as quick as I am here. You'll probably take your time. But there we go, we found the exit. So that's actually where we have to take the power crystal to. But the only problem is, to do that, that transition, we have to unplug the the pissing thing, which is always a bit risky because as soon as you unplug those, all of the defenses start to shut down. So you've only got a limited amount of time before your, your turrets shut down. But once you do that, all of the enemies sense that you've shut it down and they also start to spawn as well. So again, I post in the comments if you play this game, what's your secret, man? Because this is a tough game. Um, and I, I do quite like it. I, I love it, in fact. I think it's a very, very well... Um, it's a well-designed game, but it is bloody tough, and I, I wish I knew what the secret was. Um, I suspect it's probably something more to do with how um, you use the characters, etc. But I think at the moment, yeah, I think um, I'm not quite getting it. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, well, I think well, we won't. I mean, again, I think key, you know, games like this, I'm really keen to show you because. Um, I think they don't really get man much mainstream, I guess, reviews of these kind of games. And it's things like old stuff like Hack. I don't know if you ever played NetHack or Hack, as the game it used to be called. Um, but it's, kind of, I mean, it's, a, it's, a t it's an ASCII-based game, um, very similar to Dwarf Fortress, but not as good. Um, or some would say better, but I think um, NetHack was brilliant because it was just random. Every time it was random. Um, and it was just a very clever, well put together series of, of mechanics that really gave it, I think, a bit of, um, you know, kind of a feel. But it was literally, you know, capital D was a dragon. That's all I remember. Um, there was a better game called LAN, which I think later got called U LAN. Um, and that was a bit easier because you could actually get some really good gear in that. Um, and in the <laughs> it's very funny in the end you you actually became a kind of demigod that's literally what your in-game title would be demigod pyrex um, and that that you know you were pretty much able to take on demons and break them over your knee kind of thing um, and that was pretty awesome anyway so there we go we just recruited another dude so we're ready to actually now move our defenses but again I haven't done this for some time so I thought to myself well I've got a long way to go. <laughs> I've got a very long way to go, um, but it's not looking, you know, I'm thinking we can do this, bro. We can do this. And I think already I was getting ready to kind of, you know, build my defenses. But I think at this point, just thought, sod it, let's go. So here we go. As soon as we unplug this, just like that, all of our defenses are now powering down. They can still fire, but not for long. And as you can see, we've already got a warning thing to say that a, a group of things are coming, which is not good. And as I kind of think to myself, well, you know, I'll stay in here with these turrets. Um, yeah, it doesn't quite work out that way because the turrets are powering down and unfortunately, there we go, power off. And there we go, that's it. Pretty much I've just lost in my own stupidity. But um, I think this game is good. I think it's probably worth a look. And I think, I don't know what the price is at the moment because it did fluctuate quite a bit over Christmas. But there we go, I lost. I suck. Um, but I think if you've got a spare moment and you like rogue likes, then I think this game could well be worth a look for you. I hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.